M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Today we're on the UV3R using the programming software. The cable that comes, you can see it here. Mine came in the box, but you can buy them for about, I think they're about eight pounds. It's a single pin cable and it plugs into the side of the UV3R just above the DC cable. And you can charge this radio using the DC cable. It's pretty cool and you get a drop in charger as well. I think they're neat little devices. Remember, it's not a Yesu, you know, it is a Bofeng 25 quid radio. So uh, always remember that, but it, it works great. I've tested it with my local repeater and with my local, my node here in the room. And I just think it works fantastic. I can put it in my pocket. I hardly know it's there. So right over to the software. Now we're gonna do Chirp as well, but first of all, I thought we'll have a go at the included software, which I got from McClaw. So thanks very much McClure and I'll put a link in to the McClure site. The first thing is set our COM port. We're going to go at the top here and look at settings and select communication port and choose the COM port. Now right click device manager, the cables plugged in the PC of course. Double click and then look USB serial CH340 COM5. So we're going to choose COM5 click OK and then we're going to read from the radio. It's quite nice looking software this and when you download it you just go next 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 and it opens up. So we're going to go read from radio click OK and it's working straight away. Now the radio I know you can't see it it's flashing the red TX light is flashing. I'll, I'll make another video showing it flashing but that's all you're seeing to be honest. Um, so that's that and look it's read the few memory channels that I have added it looks like it's got 99 memory channels you cannot add names and I don't know why they haven't managed to think of firmware that can do that it doesn't seem like that it would be that hard look show channel show name let's click name and then look you just you can't add a name I just don't get that you know they've even got it there in the in the in the software backlight continuous Channel flag is frequency mode. So you've got frequency mode, channel mode, which is VFO mode, memory mode, timeout, vox level, squelch levels here, frequency range. Does that vary? Let's have a look now. 136 to 174, 245 to 246. Hmm. Uh, anyway, we're using it as a 2 meters and 70. Not use the scan mode or priority channel. So VFO on boot up. I'll change them now. So on the... Let's have a look here, what we got, VFO and TX. Right, so this is what it's doing when you, when it's not in memory mode. So I'm just going to put in here 145 dot, no, actually I'm going to put my nose, so 434.550 at the top. Is it letting me do that? Or do I have to do it? Oh, I can see now, it's VFO. So, okay, so 145.600 TX is one four five dot zero 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 it does let me set a tone that's pretty good nice and easy 94.8 power high it's two watts and step i actually like step 6.25 and then i'll put my node underneath which is four three four dot five five because that's the thing i use the most to be honest four three four dot five five zero and it's the node hubnet node by g7 RPG and that's M0HOY for Hubnet, which I highly recommend you use. 77 tone high wide will do for now. So that's that set. You can see my memory channels. So let's just add one that I haven't got. We'll go to put in a few here. We'll just go 145.750. Now my friend is making me that's Lionel in Cheddar M6LSJ, a co plug, let's call it. Um, so, hang on, that's the wrong one, 94.8 tone, we want CT, CSS, no, actually that's wrong, we're going to leave that one off, I'm going to do the, the TX one, the DCS encode here, at 94.8, that's all I need, uh, 145.750, we do need a shift there, so where do we select the shift, because it's a repeater, that one. Now I see it makes us put in the transmit frequency here. 145.150, 600K shift. And then we'll leave it at Y, so that's that one done. 
This needs to be 77 as well, tone, and the frequency transmit, that looks right, so that's GB3ZB. WR's down here, let's put it up here, so actually that's GB3FI there, I recognize that, but we'll put WR there, 145.600, then 145.000 transmit, and then we've got 94.8 tone, these need to be just zeroed off. We don't need a tone on the receive. You can put one in if you want, it'll be quieter. I like hearing the bips. Um, so you can see then we can put some, say, simplex in there, 145.500. Leave the tone off. So you're getting the idea of how you do this, 145.500, that's simplex. And we could, you know, I'm gonna to go to a repeater book and see if I can copy and paste a load. We don't need a tone on this, it's a simplex channel. I think that's enough for now. And then let's have a look what other settings we can do. We should save as we go along really. So we'll save it as VR, I'll just call it VR. And I'll just put it on my desktop somewhere for now. Find it later, desktop, VR, save. And it's say it. we can import and export that then. So let's just see if there's any other things we can change. Read and write, settings, help, let's do the about. Copyright, okay, fair enough. Um, you can do read and write with this little blue and red radio at the top. You can do a blank thing there. What's this one here? Open a file there and save. And it will override, or you can go save as, and then it will. it's a new file. So file, I'm not seeing that we can import, export things like repeater book, which is a shame. But Chirp probably does do that. And we're going to have a go with Chirp as well. Communication port. Done that. So that's it. So we're going to write that to the radio. And then the next video, a separate video. Write to radio. Click OK. We're going to um, do it with Chirp. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And it works working really well. You can see now, just I know you can't see it, but when I go into memory mode, which I'm in right now, and I'm just flicking through the memory channels. Yeah, they're all there. Perfect. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73.